We all have heard of Pythagoras' theorem, which is really from ancient India, Sumeria, Egypt. Many cultures have shown us that when you have a right angle triangle, only because it's a 90 degree angle, a quarter of a circle, that the square on the small side and the other small side, three squared plus four squared, if you picked up all these tiles, nine plus 16 add up to 25, and it fits perfectly the side length of five squared here. So this is a very ancient nugget of information. It's beautiful knowledge, but we have many, many ways of showing this geometrically, I mean, algebraically. There's lots of formulas that show us to how do we prove that. In fact, there's 100 different ways how to do it, and a lot of them are geometric. But what I'm gonna share with you now is um, the best geometric proof possible of all the hundred that I have researched. This one is so simple and powerful. It doesn't even need any explanation. You can look at it and see, oh my God, this is a perfect theorem or an axiom of knowledge. So what I'd like to do is to highlight, here's a square. Well, it could be a unit square, but we'll call this a square. Doesn't matter what size it is. And all I need to do, is I can draw one line. I, we, we could draw a line anywhere, but let's just say I just drew one line. So that has a distance and that has a distance. I've created a triangle in this section. So it doesn't matter the points where I'm going through. So long as it's a 90 degree angle, I'm able to pick this up and do it again and again and again. So I can take that line, one, two. I've got another triangle there. I can do it again, another triangle here and another triangle. So I'm interested in this internal square. So this is the, the large square, but you need to take note of, we've created a smaller square, somewhat skewed or on another angle to the, in the main square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how we could, literally, if this was cardboard, you could cut these pieces out and we could rearrange these um, triangles. So what I'm what I'm going to do is we've got one triangle here. I'm going to take this triangle and put it with that triangle. So over here, there's that. Here's one. That's this triangle here. Now I'm going to say take any one of these triangles and I'm going to um, put it next to it. So now I've created a rectangle. So I've done. I'll put that triangle and that triangle together. And it doesn't even matter what the lengths are. This is why it's a geometric proof by, like um, in Vedic maths, it's called Vilakanam. By mere intuition, we can see that these two put together make a rectangle. And then I could do it again. So I'm going to do it again. So this rectangle over here is the combination of this one here and this one here. So the, the area of these four elongated right triangles are the sum of these two rectangles. But look what we've got. I'm going to shade in. Um, I'm going to, if, if you have a look at this triangle here, you can see that this is the square on the shortest, on there's two sides. There's a short side here. There's a short side here. And this is the square on the short side. So I'm going to shade this in. So this area here is the square of this triangle, the square on the shorter side, but there's another shorter side along here. So this square here is the square on the other side. So we've done this side and we've done this side, but did you notice that this area here is identical to the area here? Because this square here is the hypotenuse, which is the longest side. This is the square on the longest side of that triangle. And where here, this, this same area has become the square on the shorter side. And it created this little square area of the shorter side. So now, now we know that the square on the longest side must be the sum of this and that. So that means, um, that means by Pythagoras' theorem, if this is three and that's four and that's five, we know that the sum of these two 
is equal to the square on that side. So this is an amazing, simple geometric proof that doesn't need any numbers. It just shows by mere cardboard cutouts, we can, we can pick up all the pieces. Um, so sorry, I'm, I need to correct what I said before. This square here is actually the sum of these two. That's what I meant to say. So this square here is, is larger than this square here because this square is the sum of the smaller square and the next smaller square. So I just wanted to make that clear. And these four rectangles, these four triangles here form that rectangle and that rectangle there. So it's quite a simple geometric proof. Um, I've looked at a hundred others and there, there's nothing as simple as this. This is the best that we have. And um, if you're keen to study this, I would actually re redraw this again and cut it out on cardboard. And we can also go into the third dimension. If we were to um, look at Pythagoras' theorem, there's a thing called three cubed. Three cubed is like your Rubik's cube. This, this is three cubed here. So we know that three cubed is 27. So I'll write that up. And then if we add the next cube, four cubed, we know that the sum of four cubed is 64 and then I'm even going to add five cubed so if we put all these together five cubed is 125 the interesting thing here is that if you added up these three cubic numbers 27 plus 64 plus 125 they would all rearrange and form another larger cube like this called six by six imagine Six cubed is 216 little cubelets. So the sum of all of these is six cubed, which is 216. And this is an interesting number because it's double the number 108, 108. This has got to do with the harmonic of the moon, the radii of the moon. So these are very important numbers. But what's interesting is that just by, know just by knowing the basic three, four, five triangle and a little bit of geometry, we're actually accessing multi-dimensional geometry where we start to investigate and connect with the harmonics of the astronomy of the planets and of the um, celestial transcripts. So that's why mathematics is a universal language of shape and pattern recognition. And by knowing Pythagoras' theorem, it's really important because it's all about giving, giving us a right angle. Without knowing this right angle, we couldn't perform any of this um, um, symmetry. So the, the, the ancient Egyptians used this three, four, five triangle. They took, the th they took the three and they added the four here and they added the five. And the sum of the three plus the four plus the five is 12. Um, and they were able to fold up this stick. So if this was a stick, like a measuring rod, you could fold this up into the three, four, five triangle and create a 90 degree angle, which they used for building. So this is considered one of the most important um, theorems in all of mathematics, and it's as equal to the golden ratio. So by studying the Fibonacci sequence golden ratio and also the Pythagorean theorem, which has its roots in ancient India and Sumeria, you're accessing the best knowledge that is possible.